वेलकम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर इन द कोर्स संधि इन पाणिनियन ग्रामर वी हैव बीन स्टडिंग अच संधि और वॉवल संधि फॉर सम टाइम नाउ वी स्टेटेड दैट अच संधि कैन बी ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू द फर्स्ट वन बींग एक स्थानिक एकादेश वेर वी हैव एक स्थानी एंड एक आदेश वन सब्सटीट्यून एंड वन सब्सटीट्यूट सो वन सब्सटीट्यूट रिप्लेसिंग वन सब्सटीट्यून दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ अच संधि we also stated that there are two instances of this type of ach sandhi and they are eko yanachi and echo yava yavaha these are the two sutras stating yan sandhi and a yava yav sandhi then we said that the second classification is द्विस्थानिक एकादेश वेर यू हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट एंड वन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वी शेल स्टडी सून राइट नाउ वी आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन द सेकेंड इंस्टेंस ऑफ एक स्थानिक एकादेश विच इज अयवायाव संधि we have already studied in detail yan sandhi in the process we studied the sutra eko yanachi which states this yan sandhi we understood the meaning of the words in the sutra we also introduced the uddeshya vidhaya bhava and studied द अणुदित सवर्णस्य से चाप्रत्यय सूत्र एंड देन वी स्टडीड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ यंड संधि देन वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्थानीवत भाव एंड फाइनली द गैप दैट इज फिल्ड इन बाय द लेटर पाणिनियन ग्रामेटिकल ट्रेडिशन then we moved to echo yava yavaha we studied the sutra we also studied the uddeshya vidhaya bhava and then we also studied various examples many of such examples we noted are artificial but there is nothing that we can do about it now ekasthanika ekadesha type of achandhi is stated in this particular section in the ashtadhyayi 6172 onwards up to 6183 the ekasthanika ekadesha can be diagrammatically represented in this manner where you have a immediately followed by b they are both in the samhita mode in the close proximity so a plus b becomes the input and now this a gets substituted by c a is the substituent c is the substitute a is the sthani c is the adesha in the environment of a immediately followed by b a gets substituted by c so a plus b is the input and the output is c plus b in the ayavayava sandhi in this lecture we shall study some additional rules stated in this particular section to make the description of ayavayava sandhi exhaustive enough we saw that the main sutra that states the ayavayav sandhi is echo yavayavaha 
78. This consists of two words, Echaha being the sixth one of H, meaning thereby that in place of H, Ayavayavaha is 1 slash 3 of Ayavayav. The word Achi continues from the previous sutra and so the meaning of this sutra is immediately before Ach, H is substituted by Ayavayav. We also studied that H is a Pratyahara formed capturing the sounds in Sutra 4 and 5 of the Pratyahara Sutras. These sounds are A, O, I and O. And we also have four substitutes I, Av, I and Av. We have studied several examples illustrating this particular sutra. Now we need to study the additional sutras and there are four in number. In this lecture we shall study the first two and in the next lecture we shall study the remaining two and some other topic. Vanto yu pratyaye 6179 6180. These two will we shall study now. We'll keep Kshaya Jaya Ushakyarthe and Krayastadarthe for the next lecture. What is the purpose of these additional sutras? So we have studied that the general sutra states the substitute in the environment of a vowel on the right hand side. However, there are cases in the usage where the substitute takes place even when the right hand environment in the form of a vowel does not exist. Which means that there are cases where this particular substitute stated by this sutra takes place when the right hand side environment is a consonant. And these additional sutras are stated to capture such cases. This is the primary purpose of these additional sutras and also to capture these substitutes in certain specific environments. That is also an additional purpose of stating these additional sutras. Let us now study Vanto Yipratyaye 6179. There are three words in the sutra, vantaha, which is one one of vanta, meaning a substitute ending in v, v anta, vanta, a substitute ending in v. That substitute takes place. Yi is seven one of consonant y, which means literally immediately before y, immediately before the sound y. Pratyaya is 7 slash 1 of Pratyaya meaning immediately before a suffix. Words continued from the previous sutra are Echaha from the previous sutra Echo Yavayavaha 6178 and Echaha means in place of H. Now you see Achi does not continue here obviously because it is cancelled by Yi which is in the same case 7 slash 1. So now the right hand environment is changed. Previously achi was the right hand side environment and now it is going to be only y, which is a consonant which does not come under ach. Ach means all vowels this is a consonant and that is why this particular sutra is stated. Now here we also need to study one paribhasha in order to clearly understand 6179. The issue is this, see yi is 71 and pratyaya is also 71. So both the words are in the same cases and when such a situation arises, the words have the qualifier qualified relationship, visheshana, visheshya, bhava. 
So, in this case pratyaya can be the qualified visheshya and ye can be the visheshana, the qualifier. So, ye pratyaya then stands for following the general maxim that a visheshana always stand for the visheshananta, the word ending in that visheshana. So, ye can stand for the word ending in ye by default by the sutra jena vidhis tadantasya. But in this case, this does not apply because of one paribhasha stated in the tradition. Yasmin vidhis tadadau algrahane. What this means is an individual sound which is mentioned as a qualifier and also as a right hand side environment stands for or qualifies as the beginning sound of that right hand side environment. I'll read it once again. An individual sound mentioned as a qualifier and also as a right hand side environment stands for or qualifies for as the beginning sound of that right hand side environment and not as the end sound of that right hand side environment. This is the meaning of this Paribhasha. Al which is 7 slash 1 which means immediately before a sound. This means immediately before an element that begins with that Al that is Aladi. So, if you take any sound and add 7 1 to it and it is a qualifier of something, then this Ali does not mean Alanta, it means Aladi. So, immediately before any sound means an element that begins with that particular sound. So, in this case Yi and Pratyaya, they are in same cases. So, Yi is the qualifier of Pratyaya. So, what both these words mean is immediately before the suffix that is the meaning of pratyaye. Now, how does ye qualify? It qualifies by saying immediately before the suffix that begins with consonant here. So, yadi, yakaradi or yakaradau pratyaye. That seems to be the meaning of ye pratyaye. Immediately before the suffix beginning with consonant here. This is the meaning arrived at of these two words by the application of this particular paribhasha yasmin vidhis tadadau algrahane, which is an exception to the general rule stated in the Ashtadhyayi, namely yena vidhis tadantasya. Now, after having applied this paribhasha, the meaning of 6179 is clear to us, and that meaning is this immediately before a suffix beginning with the consonant year, substitute appropriate H by a substitute ending in V that is av and av as the substitutes they should come in place of O and O which are part of H and these av and av are the only two substitutes that end in V and they are the substitutes which come in place of only O and O respectively. So, this particular sutra applies to O and O AU as substituents and not A and I which is also part of H. This is clear because of the word VANT which means a substitute ending in V. Now, the substitute ending in V can come in place of only O and O and not in place of A and I. So now, to show the meaning of this sutra in the form of an equation, we can say that if O is followed by Y as a suffix and Y is the beginning part of this suffix, then the resultant substitute resultant output after the application of 6179 over here would be av plus y 
consonant and the suffix that begins with ear. So, O plus ear dot dot is the input 6179 applies and hour plus ear dot dot is the output ear is the beginning of the pratyaya. Similarly, if you have O plus ear dot dot as the input 6179 applies this year is the beginning of the pratyaya and so we have av plus year dot dot as the output. Remember 6178 needs a vowel as a right hand side environment. 6179 specifically deals with a non vowel namely a consonant but not any consonant only year consonant and that too should be the beginning of the suffix only then this substitution takes place. Let us look at the examples. The first example is of the word gavya and this is derived in the following way. In the sense of modification or product, vikara or avayava or a part the suffix ya originally stated as yat in the Ashtadhyayi is added to the words go and payas by the sutra go payas or yat 4, 3, 160. And so the derivation would go like this. So we have go followed by ya stated yat originally. What this means is the modification or a product or a part of go. Go is a cow. So now there is this O followed by year. So O is followed by a pratyaya that begins with the consonant year. And therefore 6179 applies and this O is substituted by our and so the resultant output generated is gav plus year when joined together this becomes gavya which means modification or a product of a cow or part of a cow is what is gavya. Similarly let us look at the second example. In the sense of something that can be crossed the suffix year once again originally stated as yat with the marker t is added to the word nau ending in au by the sutra nau vayo dharma etc. This is 4491. So we have nau followed by ya and you have actually au which is immediately followed by a pratyaya which begins with consonant ya. And so 6179 applies and the output generated is nav plus year and when we join together it becomes nav year something that can be crossed by a ship. So we are talking about a river for example or some water navya nadi and so on. This is how vantoye pratyaye can be explained. Now let us go to the second sutra which is dhatos tannimittasyaiva which is 6180. Now let us look at the meaning of 6180. This sutra has got three words. The first one is dhatos which is 61 of the word dhatu. Dhatu means a verbal root. So dhatos means of a verbal root. Tannimittasya is the 6 slash 1 of Tannimitta. Tannimitta is a compound of constituted by two elements Tat and Nimitta. Nimitta is a condition, Tat is that. So Tannimitta stands for conditioned by that. This is describing the part of the dhatu. Dhatos which is genitive 
we said means of a verbal root. This stands for part of the verbal root as shall be clear in a while. Ava is indeclinable and generally Ava is rendered by the word only. The words continued are Echaha 6 slash 1 of H in place of H. This is from Echo Yavayavaha 6178 and the entire Sutra Vantoyi Pratyaye from 6179. The substitute ending in V takes place immediately before a suffix that begins with a consonant Y. Now putting all these things together, now we link this Dhatoho with Echaha. So H is part of the Dhatu. And so the meaning is immediately before a suffix that begins with the consonant year, if any H of a verbal root takes the substitute ending in consonant V, it is only that H which is conditioned by that suffix beginning with year. So from this rendering and because of the word Eva in the Sutra, we come to know that this is a Niyama Sutra, which is a restatement and therefore a negation through a positive statement. The meaning of the sutra is once again immediately before a suffix that begins with the consonant year. If at all any H of a verbal root takes the substitute ending in consonant V, so av and av, it is only that H which is conditioned by that particular suffix. So this H should have come in place in the dhatu because of this particular suffix that begins with y and only such h can be substituted by av and av respectively. So every condition for this rule to apply is stated by earlier rules and still this rule is stated. So this becomes a restatement and results in a negation. The meaning of this sutra once again is, if an H of the verbal root which is not conditioned by the suffix beginning with Y is followed immediately by that suffix, the substitute ending in V does not take place. This is the negation. I repeat, the negation which is resulted by the restatement in 6180 is the following. If an H of the verbal root which is not conditioned by the suffix beginning with Y and is followed immediately by that suffix, the substitute ending in V does not take place. Here are the examples. First of all, let us look at the examples where the substitute of and of has taken place and this O and O that is conditioned by the following suffix year. Here are the examples. So we begin with the verbal root lu, lu meaning to cut and add to it the suffix year by 3197. Now this year suffix brings about the substitution of O in place of U over here. So we get lo plus year by the application of the sutra 7384 lo plus year. Remember this O is brought about because of this year. So this O is conditioned by year. Now such the vowel, such a vowel O is substituted by our when the suffix beginning with year is the immediate right hand side environment. So now we substitute O by of and we get the form love, year, love year by 6180 love year now the most important point to remember over here is o is conditioned by year similarly you have lu verbal root meaning to cut followed by the suffix year this time stated by another sutra 31125 
the original suffix stated by this sutra is nyat. So, this na marker brings about the substitution of au in place of u. So, you have au lau plus ya. Remember, this lau is brought about by this suffix ya. So, this lau is conditioned by ya. And so, such an au is substituted by au. So, we have lau plus ya. And so, finally, we get the form lau ya. The most important point to remember over here is that au is conditioned by ya. Even though we have stated that this au substitution is brought about by 6180, this is actually not the particular example of this particular sutra. Because as we said, this is a positive statement and results in negation. So the negative element, negative example can be cited as the example of 6180. That is what 6180 blocks. That is what 6180 does not allow to get generated. And here are those examples. First one is Oyate and the second one is Auyata. And Oyate is the passive present tense of the verbal root Vain Tantu Santane to weave. So we have the preverb A followed by Ve plus Lat. Then you have Ve plus the. Then you add the suffix ya in between. So, ve ya te and this ta becomes te. Then there is some prasarana which substitutes wa by u. So, you have u and a, a remains as it is. So, u a plus ya plus te. And then this u and a is substituted by this u. So, you have u plus ya plus te. Remember, this ya is a suffix. And now, we have this a and this u and the sandhi o happens. So, this o comes immediately before ya. But remember, this o is not conditioned by this ya. Because this a and u, they are coming together. They do not need the ya following. Once you have a immediately followed by u in the samhita mode, they both get substituted by one O by the sutra Adgunaha and so you have O. So this O is not conditioned by year. And so now the sutra 6180 says that in such a case don't substitute this O by our. So 6180 prohibits substitution of O by our in this case. And so we get the form o ya te and not something undesired. Similarly, we have au yata, which is the passive imperfect past tense of the verbal root ve, once again meaning to weave. And this is the derivation process ve plus lung, a plus ve plus lung, a plus ve plus te, a plus ve plus ya plus te, this ya is the suffix which indicates the passive voice. Now, because of this year, once again, there is this samprasarana substitution, wa becoming o. So, you have a plus u a year and the, and then in place of u and a, we have one substitution, u. So, you have a plus u plus year plus the. Once again, a and u, they get changed to au. And so you have au plus ya plus the. Now this au is not conditioned by this ya. That is the most important point. Even though ya follows, this au is not conditioned by ya. And therefore this au is not substituted by au. 6180 prohibits au being substituted by au. And so we get the desired form au yata and the undesired forms are not generated because of the application of this Niyama Sutra. So the explanation is in the forms Oyate something that is being woven and Auyata something that was being woven O and Au are followed by a suffix which begins with Y. All right, but O and Au are not conditioned by that particular suffix. 
beginning with year and hence o and o are not replaced by the substitute that ends in w namely our and our respectively this is the meaning and the explanation of 6180 dhatos tan nimittasyaiva to summarize what we have studied so far we studied two specific sutras stating particular substitute in specific environment which is right hand side environment we also studied the meta rule needed in interpreting the sutras in this particular regard we studied the sutra of the niyama type as well which is a positive statement however results in negation and we identified the scope that is negated through this positive statement and now we study in the next lecture some exceptions of the general rule ho yavayava and the ayavayav sandhi thank you very much